Hey guys, it's Kins. I'm going to be doing the rest of this video with glasses and my retainers on, with the exception of when I'm doing something, but I'll kind of elaborate on that in just a second, so hold on. There we go, much better. Obviously, I have a list, but that's normal. I'm trying to normalize it for some of you. I had a comment on one of my videos. Somebody was kind of requesting for me to do a video with my glasses and retainers in the whole time just to kind of help some people with their confidence. I know that some people have to wear glasses. I have contacts, so sometimes I wear contacts instead, but I'm only supposed to wear my retainers at night, but I don't really care because half the time I don't wear them anyway. I'm very excited because here in just about an hour, I'm going to get my hair not chopped off, but I'm getting quite a few inches off, and then I'm also getting some highlights for the first time in my life. I've never got my hair actually professionally done or anything, so I'm really excited. So take a good look at my hair. It's pretty long. If I straightened it, it's kind of wavy right now, but if I had straightened it, it's usually like right at my tailbone. I want to go get some coffee before I head there, so I'm gonna go do that. And um, I decided yeah. I was hungry before I went out and did stuff, so I'm gonna eat real quick, look at my salad. It's a spinach balsamic and cranberry salad. It has some bacon and cheese in it too, but it's one of my favorites. If you are a girl and you have retainers or braces and glasses, if anybody does call you a nerd, own it. People call me weird all the time. I take it as a compliment because that means I stand out. I need to eat fast actually because, ooh. My TikTok username is underscore kens.craze, K-R-A-Z-E, and then another underscore. I only have two videos so far, but we're on our way. Oh, I left my retainers at home. Um, can I get a 16 ounce iced caramel macchiato with no whipped cream, please? It is beautiful. Don't be mad at me, but I had to take my glasses off. I'm at my hair place now. About to go inside. Maybe wash my hair for me, so I just need to take my glasses off because I don't want them to get all like smudged and stuff, and it's just easier for her. But I'm gonna take my coffee in because it's good. Here goes nothing. Guys, I'm back home. Look at my hair. Blonder for sure, and definitely shorter. Um, let me turn this off. She took six inches off. I really like this. So I'm not ending the vlog here because I don't have a lot of uh, clips, but I did get some things to make this holiday kind of treat mix that I'm gonna be hopefully doing tomorrow. I'm going to bed. happy with my hair. I'll see you guys in the morning. Many hours later. Good morning guys. It's breakfast time. I need to eat my breakfast and then take a final. Okie doke. I'm about to take a final, wish me luck. I took my final and it was not hard at all. I actually got an A on it, it graded it right away. Now I'm just gonna probably sit on the couch and binge watch America's Next Top Model. I used to watch that as a kid, but then I realized that Hulu has all of the seasons. Look at my tree. Pretty. But yeah, I'm going to do a face mask and watch some TV. And then later on, I'm gonna do try to do something with my hair just to see how it looks. Um, like wavy or curled or something, just because I've only seen it straightened. Later on, I'm also gonna make some 
holiday Chex Mix stuff, and I'm gonna try to do it on camera. Well, obviously, I just put a face mask on. I'm gonna watch some more TV while it dries, and I don't know if I'm getting a pimple or what on my lip, but fresh out of the shower. I didn't wash my hair because I kind of want this cuddle the what? I want the color to set in a little bit more. Um my glasses I'm not going to put on cuz I'm going to try something with my hair. This is definitely something related to stress. Cuz it always gets red right there when like I've had a stressful week and it's finals week so not much more to say about. Okay, I did a uh, different hairstyle. I totally shouldn't have used scrunchies, but it's fine. We're gonna make some holiday mix. We have a large bowl, very, very large m and Pretzel sticks, almond bark. I might've tried it a tiny bit. That's why it's open. And corn checks. So let's open all of it. All right, all my stuff's open. I have this bowl that I'm gonna put the chocolate in and melt it. I don't know how much I need. <laughs> we're gonna start off with half of it. Put this in the microwave. While that's going, we're gonna just start pouring everything in here. The easy thing about this is you don't have to have like specific measurements or anything. It's just kind of, I want a lot of this. Oh, and I'm gonna put Cheerios in it. with our pretzel sticks. Not quite half. My Cheerios are Honey Nut Cheerios. I don't know if that... These are Honey Nut Cheerios. I don't know if that really matters. I'm not putting a ton of these in there. Just some. Lots of M&Ms. I'm using at least half of this thing. Yeah. All right, so this is what we have so far. And I just washed my hands. And now we're just gonna kind of stir it like this. Get all the checks kind of mixed in everywhere. The chocolate's almost done melting. Looks pretty well mixed. Everything, you probably won't be able to tell. I'm gonna call this video Cooking with Kins. We're not cooking, but I'm warming up chocolate and mixing stuff together. Holy moly. <gasps> Update on our chocolate. I'll show you guys, hold on. So this kind of looks disgusting, but I think it's well melted. It's a tiny bit chunky, but we'll make it work. Okay then, so I think all you have to do is add that to this. So we're gonna try that. So we're just gonna add it all over. gotta act fast because I don't want it to harden to, before we have a chance to mix it in. I have a feeling this technique isn't gonna work. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to put my hands in here. I just don't want to be burned by the hot chocolate stuff. Here's where we're at. Just mixing. I definitely need a lot more chocolate. So I was like melting more chocolate, you know. <laughs> Might have burnt some of it. It smells like burnt marshmallows in here. But it's okay. I salvaged the rest that wasn't burnt and I am working on it. Okay, we figured it out. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I don't like this at all. <laughs> and now I can't turn the camera off because my hands are just doing great thousands of tears later okay guys i'm not mad about it like all those brown spots are just melted m ms um not the burnt chocolate but i kind of feel like a little pinterest cooker like i put it on a ton of wax paper it made a lot but that's good because it'll last a while hopefully okay so i'm editing right now and realized that i never ended up taking a video of what the mix looked like after the chocolate was done drying but overall i rated a 9 out of 10 because it's really good it's festive and you should try it out
Okay guys, that's gonna be it for this vlog. I hope that you really liked it, that I dirtied every dish in my house. I need to go do dishes. All right, well, happy holidays, guys. I don't know when I'll see you next. Bye.